Hey, and welcome to my channel. I'm Christine. I will take you through a 60 minute Yang Yin practice, which is the first half will be flowing through and the second half will be holding the postures for a little bit longer in the Yin style. It's quite handy to have some props ready, maybe some blocks, bolster, if you have a pillow at home, that's great, maybe a blanket. Set it all around your mat so you can reach it easily. And please know that you can modify all of these postures. If you want to be a little more intense, you can kick it up a notch. If you need to take it down a notch, that is your call. This is your practice. I'm just going to give you the map and you're still driving the car. So let's get started. Take a wide-legged child's pose. You're going to open your knees really wide, maybe a little bit wider than the mat if that's available. If your knees are aching or you have some knee issues, you could prop something behind your knees. This helps a little bit take the pressure off. And then bring your torso down. Allow the forehead to come onto the mat. Just relax your arms. And sink into this posture. Start by taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. Nice long exhale through the mouth. Again, breathe in. Big long exhale. Close your mouth and continue nostril breaths in through the nose and out. And for the first few moments, you're just focus on your breath. The cooler air entering your nostrils and the warmer air leaving the nostrils. The rising and falling of the belly. With every exhalation, let go of something. Maybe it's a thought that keeps popping into your head. Maybe it's some tension somewhere that you can release with your breath, just by softening. And start to walk your fingertips a little bit further forward. Spread your fingers wide, press all 10 finger knuckles into the mat and root back from here. Just push yourself away from the mat. And slowly walk your hands to the right outside of your mat keep your hands about shoulder width apart as you inch your left fingertips a little bit further forward and then relax your forehead to the mat and take one more deep breath here and then slowly walk back through center and come over to your left side. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here. Come back to center. And on your next inhalation, slowly rise up into your table. And just be mindful as you bring your knees about hips width apart, your hands shoulder width apart. And let's start some cat-cow breaths here. So drop your belly, arch the spine, your chin tilts up for your inhale. And then chin to chest, rounding on your exhale. You're looking in towards your belly button. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more, inhale, exhale, last breath here, then bring yourself into a neutral spine, take your left leg back and lift your left leg up, navel to spine. 
Reach your right arm forward and extend fingertips to your left heel. Take a big breath in. Exhale, draw your right elbow and your left knee together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Extend on your inhale. Hug it together on your exhale. One more time, breathe in, extend and then draw it in. Bring your left knee to the mat and scoop your right arm underneath your left, coming down onto your right shoulder. So pull to the right for a little shoulder stretch here. One more breath. And slowly come back to center. Bring both hands back to the mat. And let's move into the other side. Take your right leg back. Lift your right leg up, navel to spine. Reach your left arm forward, extend. Fingertips to your heel, inhale. Exhale, hug your knee and your elbow together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hug in. One more time, breathe and extend. Exhale, bring it in. Then bring your right knee down, scoop your left arm underneath your right. Coming down onto the left ear, gently pull towards the left. One more breath. Slowly come back into your tabletop and set up for your melting heart pose. Walk your hands forward and gently allow your chest to release to the mat. Likely your forehead will come down. Keep your elbows lifted. We're here for three breaths. Last one. And slowly walk your hands back. You're back in your tabletop. Tuck your toes, shift your hips back, and let's lift into our first downward facing dog of this practice. You can just pedal your legs, maybe sway your hips. Just make this feel good. Take a peek back to your toes. So you're setting your drishti here. If you can see your heels, turn your heels out slightly. Then on your inhalation, lift your heels nice and high. Exhale, lower your heels. One more time, breathe and lift it high. Exhale, lower them. Then on your next breath, then come back into your table. Exhale, stretch it back into child's pose. We're moving into flow here. Inhale, stand on your knees and reach your arms to the sky. Look up. Exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale to table. And exhale, back into your downward facing dog. And we'll keep going. Breathe into table. Exhale, move back to child's pose. Inhale, stand on your knees, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, come back into child's pose. Inhale to table. And exhale into your downward facing dog and hold it here. Downward dog, breathe in and breathe out. But if you need to bend your knees for now in your downward facing dog, please do so. One more breath. Look to the top of your mat. Walk or step to the top. Bring your feet hips width apart. And let's take ragdoll here. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow, what we call this dangling pose. And just dangle forward, gently swaying side to side, shaking your head, yes and no. Take one more breath. And release your hands. 
walk your toes to touch. Lift halfway up as you breathe in, long spine, shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With your next breath in, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step your right foot back and let's move into a low lunge. Bring your right knee to the mat. Lean forward into your left leg and either bring your hands to your left thigh or reach your arms to the sky. Soften the shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your knee off the mat, and we're going to take a twist to the left with your right hand on the mat. Left arm to the sky. Breathe in. Open more, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Bring your left hand to the mat. Exhale, step back into your high plank pose. Pause here, navel to spine. Slightly tilt your chin away from your chest. Always the option to drop the knees. Another breath in, breath out. Then lower all the way to the belly with or without your knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, really press your feet into the mat. Lift into baby cobra pose. You're lifting and your hands come up off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift into cobra pose. This time, lightly press your hands into the mat. Exhale, lower. Last option, cobra pose or take your upward facing dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Walk or step, or maybe you like to hop to the top. Toes touch, halfway lift, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step your left foot back. Let's come back to low lunge. Bring your knee to the mat, lean into your right leg. Option to bring the hands to the thigh, or maybe your arms reach to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Tuck your left toes, lift your knee up. Left hand to the mat. Twist to your right, reach your right arm to the sky. Look up to your right fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, last breath in, exhale, hands to the mat, step back into your high plank pose, pause here, navel to spine, breathe in, breathe out, tip forward, either lower to the belly or take your chaturanga, upward dog, inhale, Downward facing dog as you exhale. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk or step to the top. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, rise up. Let's put it all together, exhale, fold forward. One breath for movement, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Lower down, chaturanga to the belly. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Inhale your right leg. 
Exhale, step your right foot through, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, hands to the mat, left foot to right, foot forward, fold. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Low lunge. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out to downward facing dog. Breathe in to plank. Chaturanga or lower down. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg. Exhale, step your left foot through, low lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out, hands to the mat. Right foot to left foot, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, rise up. One more round, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg. Exhale, step your right foot through. Reach it up for low lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left foot to right, foot forward, fold. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold it forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Breath to breath. Inhale, reach your arms, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, lower chaturanga. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Inhale your left leg. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, hands to the mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Relax your arms. Close your eyes. And just breathe. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Open your eyes. Chair pose. Think your hips nice and low, reach your arms, soften your shoulders, breath in, and let's flow here. Exhale, chest to thighs. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, flow back. Inhale, rise up. Last one, flow it back. Inhale, reach your arms, sink a little bit lower. Then draw your hands to your heart. Take your twist to the right side. You can bring your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh or bring your left forearm to your thighs and take an open twist. Keep your hips lower than your heart. Knees together. Two more breaths. Take a big inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Walk your feet hips width apart or wider. Hook your big toes with your index and middle finger. And release forward. Maybe you can bend your elbows away from each other as you draw your thigh bones back. Two more breaths. Release your toes. Walk your feet back together. Halfway lift here. Fold forward, exhale. 
halfway lift breathe in. Fold forward. Bend your knees, sit low, reach your arms. Draw your hands to your heart, twist to your left. Two more breaths here. Maybe sink your hips a little bit lower. Breathe in. Fold it forward, exhale. Walk your feet hips width apart. This time step onto your hands. And draw the toes right into the wrist creases and lean forward. Breathe. Take another breath here. Slide your hands out. Walk your toes together. And then on your inhale, rise all the way back up. Exhale, reach your hands to your heart center. Relax your arms by your side. Step back to the top of your mat. And find your mountain pose. Ground your feet, draw your palms forward. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Let's move into high crescent lunge. Your right knee is lifted. Arms reach to the sky. Exhale, pause. Really lift your right thigh bone up. Square your hips. Breath in. And breath out. Take one more breath here. And then flip your right heel to the mat. Let's open to warrior two. Set up your posture, front to back heel alignment. Turn your left palm to the sky. Take dancing warrior. Inhale, reach back up, warrior two. Lengthen, come into your side angle pose. Take on any variation here, right arm to the sky. Maybe you have half bind. Maybe there's a full bind. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Release your hands. Bring both hands down on the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot to the left. For high dragon lunge pose. Keep your right knee lifted your chest lifted just for this one nice deep breaths one more breath here step your left foot back come back into your high plank pose breathe in breathe out lower chaturanga upward dog Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Then lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Release your arms. Breathe and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Take high crescent lunge pose. Square your hips. When you're ready, reach your arms. Exhale, stay. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two, bend into your right leg. Turn your right palm to the sky. Open up, dancing warrior. Come back, warrior two. Lengthen forward, side angle pose. Again, take on any variation, half bind, full bind, no bind. more breaths
Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, inside of your right foot. Pause here. One more breath. Step back to high plank pose. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through. Bring your left heel down. Come right back into warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Hinge forward into your triangle pose. Block may come in handy underneath your right fingertips. Open up. Two more breaths. With your next inhalation, rise up. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your right foot in so your feet are parallel. And then turn your toes in a little bit. Elbows come together. Breathe in and lengthen forward, forward, fold straddle. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Again, a block may come in handy. If your palms are touching, walk your hands in between your feet and draw the crown of the head towards the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can stay here if you want to get a little creative. And really, only if you've got this, you can pike up into your headstand. Try a pike headstand. You're up in your tripod, stay for one more breath, and then slowly make your way down, pike down, that's available. Walk your hands forward underneath your shoulders, and we're going to go over to the left side. Turn your left toes out, come up into your warrior two, straighten your left leg, hinge forward, and take your triangle pose. Put your right arm to the sky. Extend fingertips to fingertips. One more breath. Inhale. Rise back up. Hands to your hips. Turn your left foot in, interlace your hands behind your back, stretch your knuckles back, maybe take a strap here, and then come forward, reach your arms up and over. One more breath. Inhale, come up halfway, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Turn your right foot forward again. Step into a downward facing dog. Yogi's choice here. You can stay in your down dog or you can add a vinyasa, come forward to play. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Into downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Come forward to plank. Good, yogi's choice again. Bring the knees to the mat or keep your knees lifted. We're gonna take three yogi push-ups. Lower chaturanga, back to plank. Lower, lift, lower, last one, lift and then lower all the way to the belly. 
Bring your right ear to the mat. Just relax. Back to the chin. Let's move into locust pose. Stretch your fingertips back, lift your chest, and really engage your legs. So your kneecaps lift and lift your feet. Lift up a little bit more. Lower down. Turn your head to the right side. Come back onto your chin. Interlace your fingers behind your back. If that's not available, you can really relax your arms by your side again. Always come to here, lift your chest, reach your arms, reach your legs. Come up a little bit higher. And then lower down. Take your other ear right ear to the mat again. One more time, come on to your chin. Bend your knees. Option to come into your full floor bow here. Take your hands to your ankles or your shin bones, flex your feet. When you're ready, you're going to kick your legs back and lift your chest. Kick your legs back more. Lift your feet to the sky. And slowly lower down. Come back to your chin, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Come up into your table and just for a moment, reach back into your child's pose. It can be a closed leg child's pose or knees wide. Bring your hands back to the mat, come up into your table, move back into your downward facing dog once more. And let's come into pigeon pose on the right side. So bring your right shin bone down, slide your left leg back. We call this swan in our yin practice. Come down onto your forearms. If you have a pillow or a bolster or a block, you may want to use it now. And then release over your support and settle in here for some breaths. And slow down the practice. Moving into the longer held postures. As we're moving into our yin poses, make sure you come into a place where you feel sensation. You're playing your edge, but you're not in so deep that you cannot maintain this for a couple of minutes or so. Let the body marinate for a little while here.
when you feel you've surpassed your edge, meaning you need to feel more sensation. So you don't want to push too hard, but when you feel like, oh, you, I could do a little more, then move towards the next edge. slowly walk your hands back good coming out very slowly out of the hold tuck your back toes and just move back up into a downward facing dog and move right into the left side to so bring your left chin bone down and release forward getting distracted when your mind starts to wonder and it will many times just come back to the breath the sensation even the feel of your pillow or your yoga mat underneath you Slowly walk yourself back up, slowly. Tuck your toes, shift into your downward dog, or if that's too much right now and you just wanna take a tabletop, do that. Some movement may feel good. And then come down to another child's pose. Slowly walk yourself up. Just bring your feet out in front of you. You can just gently maybe sway your knees side to side. Then draw the soles of your feet together. We're moving into a cobbler's pose. Slide your feet a little bit further forward so that you have a diamond shape rather than a triangle in between your legs and you're able to fold forward so for some of you that may mean you need to sit on a height or bring your feet a little further forward 
I like to use my bolster on the feet. You could also prop up your legs on something and then come forward. So the sensation you should be feeling here is in your inner thighs and groin and in your lower back. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Few more breaths here. Slowly walk yourself back up. Again, you take your time, never rushing out of these postures. Bring your knees together, lean back, and just gently sway your knees side to side. Just shake the legs out. Good, and then tuck your knees under. And we're gonna move into a toe stretch today. So for your toe stretch, you tuck your toes under behind you. And if you've never done this before, this may seem a little extreme. Bring your heels in towards each other. So you can sit here in your full toe stretch. If this isn't available today, it's totally fine to come forward into somewhat of a child's pose with your toes tucked under. hands on your thighs. If you're sitting up, you can close your eyes. Breathe. It's so good for your feet, your inner arches. We don't really stretch the toes or the feet very often. Most of us don't really. If you think of it, we're on our feet all day long. Nice deep breaths. Almost there, a few more breaths. If you need to come out early, that's totally fine. Remember, you're in charge.
back and then slowly lean forward. Untuck your toes. You can shake it out. You can tap your feet to the mat. Make a little noise. And then sit back in Thunderbolt. So you're going to sit on your heels. And again, already this may be a lot for you. And stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can lift your shin bones off the mat for your ankle stretch. Maybe keeping your hands on the mat or bringing your hands to your thighs. Few more breaths. Slowly release. And then from here you're going to bring yourself onto your back. And slowly roll down. Open the feet the width of your mat, let the knees fall in towards each other, and simply sway your knees side to side. This windshield wiper wash. So nice. No rush. Come and walk your feet back together. Hug the knees into your chest. Open your knees wide and either keep your hands on your shin bones here for your reclining frog or lift the soles of your feet to the sky for happy baby. You can take your hands to the outer edges of your feet while your knees pull down. Good and pause here. If you find this overwhelming after a few breaths, please back off and come into your reclining frog or come out for a little bit. I find this emotionally quite overwhelming, this posture for myself after a minute or so. So notice when you've hit an emotional edge and take care of yourself. One more minute here. And then slowly release this pose. Bring the feet to the mat when you're ready. And take your time until you extend your legs. And just feeling the release of this pose. Just taking a mini Shavasana. Just a few breaths here.
And then from here, hug your right knee into your chest. Let's move into a spinal twist. Bring your right knee over to the left. Reach your right arm out. You can either keep your head here in neutral or turn your head to your right. It may also feel good to have your knee resting in some support, maybe on your block or your pillow. Slowly winding down towards Shavasana. So we come back into neutral. Let your right leg extend and just pause again for a moment here. So I'm not rushing from pose to pose. Then bring your left knee in and draw your left knee over to the right. Left arm reaches out. Slowly come back into neutral. You can extend your left leg. Moving into your final shavasana. If there's anything you need to do, any adjustments you need to make, maybe grab a sweater, be more comfortable, go ahead. If you're not ready to come out of Shavasana, please stay. Otherwise, you can wriggle your fingers and your toes. Do whatever you need to and bring yourself up into a seated posture. And sit up tall, close your eyes. Show up for yourself like you said you would. 
Love yourself like you said you would. Be kind to yourself like you said you would. Work hard like you said you would. You owe it to yourself to be everything you've ever dreamed of being. Bring your hands to your heart center. Good, take a moment, thank yourself for showing up, for showing up for this practice today, for doing the work, and for spending some time and taking care of yourself. Move your thumbs to your third eye center, and let's take a bow. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope I'll see you again. And if you like this video, please subscribe.